Hey guys, this is Anarchy Year 635. Today is the day of Christmas. So Merry Christmas to everyone who watched to to ah who watches this video. So we're going to fast just uh ship out of that thing. I'm going to talk right now about something that we all know about, I think, or we should know about. So I'm going to start. Today's community has a lot of collectors. A lot of fresh, you know, new toy collectors that are, you know, kids and all. But um, it th this doesn't matter if you are a Jamie item collector, a robot collector, a motion collector, a vintage toy collector, an animatronic in general collector. You have to listen to this. Yeah. Um, before, before, before you you call yourself a toy collector. Listen to this, because this is very, very important. Uh, there are two types of collectors right now, I think, as, as I think that there are two types of collectors. Real collectors and fake collectors. Why do I call them real? Why do I call them fake? We're going to find it out in a little bit. So we're, I'm going to start. Real collectors like me, like Kevin, like uh, Adam, like Daniel, we know fixing what we get. I mean, we know what we are dealing with when we buy stuff. And we know we have the pieces. We know we, we know what they are made out. We already know their insights without even watching them. Now, people like... I don't know. I really don't know people that does not know fixing their toys. I don't really want to say anyone. I mean, I, I know some, but I don't really want to say them. Now, fake collectors don't know fixing their things, and they just, you know, they're just trash accumulators because, you know, they get a broken toy and they don't know how to fix it, so it just stays in a shelf broken for a lot, for a few years, and then it gets thrown away. That's not being a collector, that's being a small kid that you just take toys and you have them for a while, then you just throw them away. That's not being a collector at all. Um, a collector knows fixing their things and knows bring them, bringing them back to life. At least, at least they try. I mean, I, I, I don't really have to say, oh, every, every people that success is, is a, is a toy, it's a real toy collector. Actually, there are a lot of real toy collectors that actually fail in their repairs. And I know that. Well, here is the thing about that. If you know what you are dealing with, if you know how the insides look like, and if you if you know the problem, then you are a toy collector. Because a toy collector, a real one, um, knows identifying the problem and knows a lot of things about this thing. Like, you know, uh, by example, Jordan. Jordan is a pretty, pretty real toy collector. He knows every single thing that a Santa Claus can have. He knows every single part of the Rock Along Santas and the hip swinging Santa. So pretty much, yes, he's a real toy collector. Kevin knows rewiring the, the robots, um, the RoboSapien V2s. And he recently got a Power Destroyer knockoff. Yes, a Power Destroyer knockoff. And it was split in half. And now, um, he does not walk because it has a couple broken gears. But still, the robot wor works a lot better than when he brought it. And that's what I mean. Some people might not succeed in their repairs, but still, you're still a good toy collector, I mean, a, a real toy collector, because you know what the problem is. Now, there's, a, there's some people that they just get toys and they're like, oh, I don't know what it has, oh, it's broken, I cannot fix it, and they don't even try taking the damn thing apart. Those are not toy collectors. Those are um, junk accumulators, you know, like, they, they just accumulate things. Oh, it's broken. Oh, it's super rare and it's broken. Uh, well, listen to this, whoever does that. It doesn't matter how rare the thing is. It, it's not worth anything if it does not work correctly. Um, I've seen a lot of people collecting Jemmy items and they just have a broken part and nobody ever fixes them. Why? Because they don't know. Because they are just, you know, they just say, Oh, it's just broken. I'm just going to leave it like that. Ooh. Well, listen. That's not being a toy collector. Again, it's not. It's just being a, a kid that buys broken things, or you know, even even when the things just get broken on on your own. I mean, you know, let's just imagine this: you have a toy, and that toy breaks. 
when you after you get it. I mean, a time after you get it, and you don't know how to fix it. Well, now that's also what I mean. I mean, people that don't know fixing their toys, please. I've seen a lot of people that actually don't know doing that. So pretty much, if you know fixing your things, if you know the insights of them, if you know detecting the problem that they have, then you can shake my hand because you're a real toy collector. Now, if you don't know fixing your things, you just collect them. You don't re you don't even try. You actually you're like, oh, I don't know. Or if you try, you end up breaking the thing a lot more. That's not a toy collector. That's just a small kid that stores shit. So yeah, um, that's pretty much everything. I want to. I just wanted to say that because it was really bugging me. I really wanted to say it at some point, and um, it really was like you know. I really wanted. I really wanted to take this out because there's a lot of people that really should learn. Also, for all those who don't know, learn. It's not that hard. Just learn how to fix your things. Because you know, don't be stupid. Today, most of the people actually know fixing their things, and they know fixing them right. So yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I just wanted to say that. So. Well, I don't know. I think I'm just. I, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas, and uh, I think I'll do a video for Happy New for um for New Year. So I'll say Happy New Year just a lot, a lot later. So yeah, um, this has been Zara Peter. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.